Well, it's easy to compare ourselves, you know, to celebrities or your friends, family you see on social media. It's a lot harder just to be you, right? You be you. I you be me. Be you. Well, this morning we're trying to reprogram the way we think to be happy just being ourselves. Rob? The value of being yourself and understanding that you were created to be you, not anyone else is huge. A lot of people are jacked up because they don't have this basic understanding. Here to get us on the right track is Rich Bracken. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's, let's talk about just being you and doing you, right? Yes. What does that you mean? do you. You do you. You got to do you because... I be me, you be you. Hey, I be me and you be you. <laughs> so, basically what happens is that people get to a point where they take too much influence in and they get away from who they truly are. Mm -hmm. You know, the, one of the quotes that I saw recently that I love is that you were born original, don't die a copy. Right. So you got to stay true to who you are from the get-go. So it really is just tuning into the things that are most important to you, staying true to your values. And really but you've got to figure that life. out. You've got to oh, take yeah. inventory. What do you believe in? Yeah, you've got to, you here? You've got to take inventory and you've got to stay true to that inventory because how many influences do we have trying to shift our mindset or you're trying to live up to a certain example. Mm -hmm. You know, Kim talked about living up to celebrities or mm -hmm. getting into social media and getting caught up with all that problem. Right. So it's really understanding that you are you, you're an individual and you should have your own level of happiness because all three of us have our own idea of happiness. Right. Yours is wearing amazing pants and wearing amazing suits, right? <laughs> We're going to get you there. Yeah. And we all have our, our own level of right. happiness, so we all have to stick to that. But if I chase your happiness and you chase Kim's, we're never going to be truly yeah, but happy. But isn't it also saying, I don't depend on you for my happiness? Mm -hmm. Exactly. My depend happiness is in my control. Yes. You do you. You yeah. find your happiness within right. because as things shift, so if you think about everybody that's got their own mindset, mm -hmm. we're all going about our days, and if you're trying to make me happy or you're trying to live up to my expectation of happiness, then you're never going to be happy because that's constant constantly going to shift. It's finding that happiness within yourself because only you can identify with that. How did we get to this point where we got so jacked up to where people are having Social surgeries right. because they want to look like their uh, Snapchat filter and look perfect? Well, hopefully they're not they're not sewing dog ears on and getting that extended <laughs> I mean, tongue. Some of these people are trying to look oh, like absolutely. Barbie and Ken. And exactly. And think about it. You know, if that is that is a point where they, at some level, because if you think about the timeline of life, mm -hmm. you're not born insecure. You're not right. born in a, of a mindset of trying to be somebody else. At some point, somebody told you that you weren't good enough, or somebody told you that something needed to change in your life, or you felt a lack of acceptance. And so you figured, okay, I got to go this route mm -hmm. to be happy. And so that's where you see those people that go so far down down the path right. because they've never checked themselves to come back. So that you know the medical term is yes, jacked up. But it really <laughs> is getting back to understanding that you are only responsible for your happiness and only you know what's going to truly make you happy. And if you know that you're accepted by something greater than someone else, yes. that's got to make a difference too. Oh, absolutely. But it, you know, at the end of the day, if you can look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I lived my life, I stayed true to my values, I did what was going to make me happy at the end of the day. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, that's the most important thing because we are constantly chasing this facade of happiness. I love it. Thank you. Kim, you I'm sorry I squeezed you out. That's all right. I can... <laughs> I'm sorry. I it's get so right. excited when Rich is here. I know. Mark was just being him. He was he just had, being him. He has I mean, man crush on you. Uh, you can get more tips from Rich on his podcast and on social media. He has links to all of it on his website as well, richbracken.com. Tomorrow you get Thank to talk. Thank you for being here. Tomorrow, it's my turn to talk. Do you want to come back? I'll come back tomorrow. I'll take the day off. All right, Michelle.